I've made a severe and continuous lapse of my judgment. I've come to realize that I've made a video about Ollie London's music before. And I want, I want to apologize, apologize to, to the internet. internet. I want to apologize to my subscribers. I want to apologize to anyone who's had their ears destroyed by that god awful music. I just want to send my prayers to the ones who lost their sense of hearing. Anyways, now that we're done with that, yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Ivan Step, and you guys, I am finally back. I know, it's been a long time. It's been four months since I uploaded a video on my channel. 2021 did not go as planned at all. My mental health was just not there to be making YouTube videos. And since September, university has seriously fucked me in the ass. Seriously, it was like a cannon was shot at my buttocks and left a hole the size of King Kong's cucumber. So just before we get into today's video, I just want to say you might be able to tell that my nose sounds extra stuffy. And that's because, unfortunately, I do have COVID. I caught it a few days ago, and I know a lot of you are gonna be asking, Cool, how are you feeling? What are your symptoms like? Honestly, I'm fine. It just feels like a cold, for me at least. I'm fully vaccinated. I'm feeling okay, you know? I'll get through this. But I just feel like I got a right to tell you guys. I think you guys should know. So anyway, for today's video to kind of start off the year, I thought, who better to make a video on than the infamous Ollie London? So Ollie London's been releasing a lot of new music recently, and I thought that we'd react to two of them today. The first one is a cover of BTS's Butter, which is Ollie's addition for Big Hit Entertainment which for those who don't know is permanently closed and I feel like Ollie's song has something to do with it. And the second song we're going to be taking a look at is called Puppet on a String and to be honest, it's not too bad. So just before we get into this, if y'all could leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already, it truly would mean a lot to me. But anyways, without further ado, let's roll the clip. Ollie London versus BTS Oh my god, the song hasn't even started yet, and I feel like I'm about to throw up. All the London look like they got an aggressive case of pink eye as they're licking that slice of butter. Like, who do they think they are, Miley Cyrus? If we see Ollie London strip down and jump into a kiddie pool full of butter, I'm seriously gonna lose it. Also, speaking of kids, what's with that toddler dancing at the beginning? At first, I thought they were rocking a mohawk, but then I realized it's literally just a circular patch of hair, and the rest of the toddler is completely bald. I should come to think of it, it kind of looks like a giant piece of poop landed on its head. I don't know, let's just continue watching. Wow, that poor butter. What did it ever do to Ollie to be squished up like that? Also, we gotta talk about what's going on with Ollie's hair. It's supposed to be looking like Hinjin's hair, but it's looking more like spaghetti noodles. Actually, you know what? I don't know if y'all seen this movie, but Ollie kind of be looking like the predator. Hot like summer, yeah, I'm making you sweat like that. You've got that superstar glow? No, no, no. BTS might have that superstar glow, but you, Ali London, nah, nah, nah. The only reason you're shiny is because the amount of oil you got in your face. For those who don't know, Ali London's account was banned for a few days, but unfortunately, it did come back. And I think the reason it did come back is because Popeyes, well, you know, they didn't want to go out of business because without Ali London, they wouldn't have any oil to be cooking their chicken. I thought that this was supposed to be an audition tape, like, you know, as in making your own song and singing it, but no, these are not even Ollie's lyrics. It's a song that just completely failed with autotune and has Ollie London squishing butter like a four year old child playing with Play Doh. Why is this music video giving me a primary school talent show vibe? Even Ollie London knows that they can't sing, and that's why they got BTS's vocal in the background. Also, love the stock footage. I wonder if Ollie even knows which city this video is from. Or more importantly, who the guy is that's dancing. For real though, Ollie London probably just went on Google and typed up Korean guy dancing and just threw that in his music video. Oh my, what was that? Did we really just hear Ollie London have a voice crack and autotune? I seriously cannot believe that this is an audition tape. Like, I want to believe that this music video is just a joke, but with Ollie London, honestly, you never know. No, there, there, there's no way that Ollie London actually got dancers. Nah, 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 that's a green screen. Damn, I was hoping that was real because that girl in the middle looked like she was gonna give Ollie London a mean clothesline. Uh, 
just I'm a nice guy oh. Got the right body and the right mind yeah. Rolling up the party and the right vibes oh. We're like Hey there. Wow, I, I, I knew that this was coming, but I seriously was hoping that I would not have to listen to it. Is the Oliver London seriously rapping right now? This, this is actually scary. Okay, let's just break down this little segment right now. So Ollie said, ice on my wrist, I'm a nice guy. Even though the lyrics are actually ice on my wrist, I'm the nice guy. It's a small mess up, but for me, that kind of goes to show that Ollie London claims to be this huge Jimin and BTS fan. But if you screw up a little line like that, I mean, like it says a lot about how much of a fan you really are. Also, Ollie, buddy, what are you doing? What kind of dance moves are those? <laughs> Ollie reminds me of those middle class high school kids who discover gangster rap for the first time and now think that they're part of an actual gang. You got a guy who looks like this around his parents, but then as soon as he goes to school, he's like, Yo, buddy, are you a crip or blood? Like, bro, what are you doing? Also, we all know that Ollie likes to pretend to speak Korean, but I'm starting to realize that Ollie can't even speak good English. We like Hey I replayed this part around 10 times and I still got no idea what they're saying. The lyrics are supposed to be smooth like, smooth like hate, us. hate us, but I know for a fact that Ollie London is definitely not saying those words. To me it sounds like when I, hey there, which I, I, I don't even know what that means. Like you're, you're just putting random gibberish together. <laughs> This song is like a kindergarten classroom after playtime. A complete mess. Even Ollie London knows that they can't sing and that's why they gotta fill the song with autotune and throw in vocals from BTS. Also, I just realized how Ollie barely makes any facial expressions in the video. It looks like all that plastic surgery is restricting their ability to move their cheeks. Honestly, I just can't listen to the song anymore because if I do, I think it'll just make my symptoms even worse. Okay, so now I wanna transition and look at Ollie's most recent song, Puppet on a String. And I just wanna point out how the trailer for the music video has more views and more likes than the actual music video itself, which is just sad. Now, a fair warning, this one, this one here, will surely scare a lot of you. And just before we get into this, if you haven't already hit that like button, go, do it. Like, what are you doing? Do it, actually, no, do it right now, hit that like button, or else this song will be played at your future wedding. Okay, for real, like, it, it probably won't be, but like, is that really a risk you want to take? No, no, ain't gonna make me. 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 Now that is the face of regret when you realize that you spent over two hundred thousand dollars to look like Jimin. Change your pronouns to Korean slash Jimin and marry a cardboard cutout of Jimin to find out that Jimin, if he even knows who you are, is creeped out and hates you with a passion. You've got paparazzi, then you've got stalkers, then you've got predators, but then you've got Ollie London, which is just a unique case. I am really not sure what's going on right now. This kid here looks like his soul was literally sucked out of him. And then this boy here, how much did Ollie pay him to be in the music video? Like. For real, I actually want to know. Poor kid, after Ollie London put their hands on that guy's shoulder, he probably had to throw out that sweater. Actually, better yet, he probably had to burn that sweater before it catches a disease and turns everything into plastic. What is this all about? There was never a doubt. Just who pulling who? But where's this leading me to? Wait. What? For real, what is this song actually about? I genuinely have no idea what Ollie London was just saying. We all know for a fact that Ollie is not Korean. Uh-oh, hopefully I don't get canceled for being transphobic. I am beginning to think, and I've said this before, Ollie London may not even be English because they can't even, they can't, I know, I can't even speak proper English, but yeah, they can't speak even. You see what Ollie London's doing to me? Ollie can't even speak proper English. Ladies and gentlemen, the task has been fulfilled. Yes. I'm joking, don't wish death on people. That is bad, we don't do that here. Okay now, but for real though, this is the textbook definition of, sure, you could copy my work, but just be sure to change up a little bit so the teacher doesn't find out. Oh. 
I am ready to do some exposing here. So at first when I heard those lies, I'm not gonna lie, I'm like, wow, all in London, this is actually not terrible for once. But then I realized that it's plagiarized. And what's hilarious is that the song he plagiarized from is a song from Sandy Shaw called Pop It On A String. Yes, all in London is clearly not the sharpest tool in the shed or the brightest bulb in the box to be copying a song that is the exact title as theirs. First I'm gonna repeat the line from Sandy and then I'm gonna play the part from Ollie. Love is just like a merry-go-round. One day I'm feeling down on the ground, then I'm up in the air. Are you leading me on? Tomorrow will you be gone? And this is why I just can't respect Ollie London. It's one thing being problematic, another being offensive, but they have had a little bit of a history now of copying other people's music. If you saw my reaction to their song Korea Boo, well, then you know. Um, wasn't Halloween like two months ago? What's up with all the costumes and makeup? I think Ollie is attempting to represent the Victorian era or one of the eras in England, but his execution just makes it pretty scary. This woman looks like she's about to kill someone. And this guy here is doing some type of evil villain laugh. And then there's Oily London who'd be looking scarier than Annabelle and the Nun combined. And then there's that one girl. Oh, hot damn. Wow, she can catch it. Oh, no, no, not that girl. She's mid, but I'm talking about this one, all right? Right here, the one with the full on mustache and beard. I just want to smother my lips all over that pretty face and rip out that facial hair with my teeth. Okay, jokes aside though, I seriously think that these actors deserve a raise. Standing beside Ollie London, I mean, like, that is scary enough, but not only that, they gotta listen to Ollie singing, like, just take that in for a second. That's that's incredible. There's a lot of bravery and courage to be doing something like that. Okay, Harry Styles. I see you with the love music. I am sure that all of the men and women shat in their adult diapers after listening to that line. Ow, my head. I am trying not to laugh because you know my, my sinus is hurt and everything. But first you got that kid just vanishing into the tree and then just all you want him like jumping into that mirror like it was nothing. Like what are they doing? No, 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 like seriously, like what are they doing in that mirror right now? I gotta be real here, as weird as all you London is and as um let's just say not good their music is. One thing is for sure is that Ollie never fails to put a smile on my face. Like, you know, as much as you know, I'm not the biggest fan of Ollie. They are pretty funny, I, I gotta give that to them. So Okay, all jokes aside, but like for real this time, I'm being genuine here, the song isn't actually that terrible. Compared to Justin Bieber, Lady Gaga, Beyonce, and other mainstream artists, this song is equivalent to the poop emoji. Actually, nah, that that's kind of offensive for me to say because the poop emoji isn't that bad. But when we're comparing this song to Ollie London's previous music, like Christmas in Korea, it's Christmas time. or even Korea Boo, the song is actually decent. So all in all, even though I'm not a fan of Ollie London, this song definitely shows some improvement. I mean, like, you know, good job. Good job, Ollie. Anyways, I am sick and my ears hurt from listening to all this music today. So that's gonna do it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I missed you guys so much. Leave a comment. I wanna have a conversation with you guys in the comment section. But anyways, that's officially gonna do it for this video. So until next time, it's been having stuff. Peace. Wow, okay, I actually did it. I didn't know I'd be able to film the whole time because the COVID.